Binance mobile app. On today's video, I will show you exactly how I use this tool on a regular basis. And I will also show you all its different, very interesting feature. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. So like I said, I'll be reviewing uh, the mobile app for Binance. So maybe you already know Binance. Maybe you're already using the app itself. But in this video, I will show you how I make it my number one tools. And I will also show you and explain you some of their very interesting feature. So I will be talking about the interface so you can better understand how to navigate on the interface. I will also show you how you can access all the wallet so you'll be able to withdraw or deposit coin very easily. I will show you how you can look at the market, have a glance at the market to see what's going on or to be able to create a favorite list of all your coin. I will show you how you can access the trading tool. So from there, you can see all the chart and be able to buy and sell any coin. And I will show you how you can directly on the app, open a position or close a position. So let's move on my computer so I can show you. If you don't already have an account with Binance, I'll put the link in the description below so you can create yourself an account. Or if you already have an account, all you have to do is to download the application on your phone and log on with your uh, email and password. Or you can also register directly on the mobile app. But if you use the link in my description, you'll have a 10% rebate on all your transaction fees. So this is my phone screen. So this is, this is how it will look like the first time you will log on on your phone. So on the main screen right here, um, one of the important thing to know, it would be right here. So this is to access your profile. And from here, you can access a different feature like the setting. So if you need to modify, let's say your language, your currency, the payment currency, or if you would like to change the color preference, the style and everything. So that would be right here in the setting. If you need to change, let's say your password, well, we have, we just need to click the uh, security tab right here and we can change the password right here. We can also activate some feature to protect our account. So like SMS in my case, authentication, and I also have email authentication. So you can go right here if you need to access those feature. All right. So next part, it would be right here. I don't use this part very often, but it could be uh, useful um, if you would like to put let's say you use a very specific feature from the application well you can put them right here see this as your uh, icon on your computer desktop so if you need to modify those or see everything what's available well you just click on more and you will see all the application possible that you can use and the one that you see right here so the eight that are right here well, it's the one right here. So you can change this whenever you want. So you can remove some from here and add some from here. And when you're done, you just click on done right here. So let's go back. And the other part that I like to use, or actually it's the part that I mostly use. It's right here at the bottom. So those five button, that's the one I mostly use every day. So we're currently at the home. So this is this one right here. Let's start with the wallet. So the wallet is the place where you want to access all your fun. So if you want to withdraw or deposit any kind of coin, well, you would do it directly uh, from here. So if we click the wallet, let's say you would like to deposit some fund or some coin to your Binance account. Well, all you have to do is click here on deposit. We're in under crypto and then you can do a search for any kind of coin or uh, you can use any of those popular one right here. So let's say I would like to deposit some BTC. Well, I click BTC and this would be my wallet address for my BTC. So you can use a QR code if you're using a phone or you can copy right here and you can use this address and then you can paste it to wherever you want on the other application that you would like to withdraw the fund. Or you can also click here, share address and you can send your address by email, by text messages or whatever. So if you would like to have your wallet address accessible from somewhere else, well, you can use this feature right here.
and the other type right here is fiat so that depends on the country you live in so i won't go necessarily in detail but if you would like to uh, purchase uh, some uh, crypto from your fiat money you can select uh, which one you would like and from there you just follow the step but like i said i won't go in detail because it's different for every country now withdraw it would be the exact same thing so if you would like to withdraw uh, some crypto from your account right here uh, let's say i would like to withdraw some ethereum so it would be eth so i can select this right here and all i have to do is put the address of the wallet where i would like to send the fund so since this is my phone i can use the camera right here and with the camera i can point at the qr code to the wallet address to where i would like to send my uh, ethereum so you put the address and then you can put the amount and you can click the withdraw fund and same thing with cash um, that's another feature i never use it on uh, binance i never purchase or sell crypto on binance uh, but if you do just follow the step it's very easy and like i said uh, it's it's very different depending in which country you live in so this is the wallet itself let's go back right here to the market so market that's another very interesting feature first of all you can create favorite uh, for all your coin so the most common one that you use on a regular basis you can put them under your favorite list or you can have different categories so they have the bnb so all the uh, cold currency uh, using bnb or btc all the other alt or fiat which is all the stable coins so like this example usdt so let's say we're looking for a coin so i don't know let's say we're looking for ethereum so we could do just eth and we have all the possibilities right here so in my case i would be looking at the ethereum against the usdt so if i would like to put this one under my favorite all i have to do is click the little star right here or tap on that that little star right here so let's say i would like to add this one bnb against the eth well i can just do this and it will show up automatically on my favorite tab right here so if i go at the bottom it would be right here if i want to remove it i just tap on it and i can just remove the star right here at the top and if you want more detail where well, you just need to tap on it and you will have all the detail about it so i can see the chart right now and i'm currently on the 15 minute chart i can let's say i change it to the one hour so i can see our ethereum has been performing in the last hour and i can use different kind of uh of tools so right here at the bottom you have the most popular one uh, in my case i mostly use the ema well actually it would be the EMA, Bollinger Band, Volume, MACD and RSI and for the EMA if you need to change uh, the length well you would have to go right here on those little line and from here you click on setting and then index setting and from here you can modify all the setting for all the indicator so let's say you would like to change the EMA and from here you can select up to five ema so right now i only have those three activated you can choose the color and you can choose the length also if you want to once you're done just click on confirm to save it and same thing with all the other feature you can modify you can change the color if you want to so this is very very useful if you want to have a quick look on your phone at the market to see what's going on so right now as we're looking at the uh at this chart we can see that the green the yellow and the red are below each other so we are currently on a uptrend and as we can see the the rsi right here so we have a better idea what's going on one of the feature that i really like it's right here alert so let's say for some reason i would like to um, have an alert once the uh, ethereum price get below or get to a certain area so let's say in this area in this example i would like to be notified if the coin or if ethereum would get let's say around to 
$2,255. So I can just go right here on alert and then I can select, let's say when the price drop to, and then just select the value only once. And then from there, I can create the alert. Once the price reach this level, the application will send an alert on your phone so you can get notified if there's a big price change. So let's say you would like to buy or sell Ethereum in this example. So let's say we go to buy and then from here we can select what we want to do. So we have limit market stop limit OCO. For this example, I'll go just very basic. This is not a uh, trading tutorial is just to show you how to use the application. So let's say if you go limit, you can choose at what price you would like to buy or sell your Ethereum, or you can just use the market and buy or sell right now at the market price. So in this example, let's say I have $171. Let's say I would like to use half of this right here, 50%. $85 to buy Ethereum. So I have to do select how much money I want to use to trade against Ethereum. And I just need to click the buy right here. Same thing with the sell. If I need to go back to the chart for Ethereum, while well, it's right here at the top, you can click on it and you can access it directly. It's always a good idea when you're buying any kind of crypto to put a stop limit. So if you have, let's say currently, you're currently holding Ethereum. So right now Ethereum is at over $3,400. So you can say you could let, you can put a stop limit to sell your Ethereum once it reach a certain amount. So let's say it reach $3,000, you would like to sell your Ethereum. So we can say to Binance, when it reach, let's say $3,010, Create a sell order for $3,000 and sell all my Ethereum. So when the price reached $3,010, create a sell order for $3,000. If the price reached $3,000, sell all my Ethereum. 100% uh, of my Ethereum. So all you have to do is click on sell and then you just confirm right here. And the other tab or the last one is for futures. So future contract, I won't go in detail uh, in that. That's another thing to, uh, that's a completely different subject. Uh, but that would be if you would like to apply any kind of leverage on your account, on your trade. But for this purpose of this video, I won't go in detail. So and also, before I forgot, one very interesting feature also, if you don't want to use the uh, trading platform to buy or sell your coin, well, you can use right here, convert. And from here, you can convert from one coin to another very, very easily. So let's say I would like to convert from uh, USDT. So I just select my USDT tether and I would like to convert to uh, let's say BNB, so I can type BNB. So as you can see, so from USDT to BNB, click confirm, and I just need to enter the amount. So let's say I would like to convert $100 of USDT to BNB, click preview conversion. Let's do this again, $100. Review. And now I have like three seconds to confirm at that price because the price can change very quickly. So for this particular transaction, I would get a 0.15 BNB. So all you have to do is click confirm or I can refresh. And now I have another three seconds to convert. So that's very easy. If you just want to convert from one to the other, let's say I would like to convert from uh, Cardano would be ADA. And I would like to convert to uh, BTC. So I have from ADA to BTC, confirm. 
I enter how much ADA I would like to move to BTC and then I just click on the preview. So that's another very interesting feature if you want to convert very easily. So that's it for that quick video. I hope it did help. I hope you did learn something from this. If you did like this video, all I'm asking is a like on this video. And if you're not already subscribed and you don't want to miss any of my future video, well, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope I'll see you very soon on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.